uh, 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 I'm using his apartment to hustle, right? Broom. So I, one day I'm in the elevator. So he's not there. I'm ringing the bell. Boom, right? And I take the elevator back down to leave the building. If I recall, oh, when he come, when the elevator opens, he comes in and he's like, oh, what up, nephew? And he gives me a, a hug, like, what up, right? The pound and like a hug. So I'm thinking he going to give me a pound and a hug, like, what up, my nigga, right? My dude, he reached in for my neck and gave me a kiss on my neck, bro. What? What, bro? Nah, I would have. <laughs> my dude, I choked fire out of him in the elevator, bro. Boom, the elevator locked and I had him up like this punk pinned and he was changing colors and it was like a, I don't, you never been locked up, but if you ever been like in a hallway and it's popping and niggas be like, yo, you chill, yo, chill, chill, yo, boom, boom, yo, chill, and you hear the yeah, vibration yeah, yeah. like, boom, yeah, boom, right, so I had that nigga like that, son, I had that nigga like trying to get away and I was like, boom, don't fucking play with me, tío, so everything went through my head, bro, I could have killed him, son. Like, is everything replayed in your brain? Bro, everything replayed in my head, bro. Boom. I'm blaming him for everything. I'm blaming him for shit that just happened two minutes ago. You get it? Facts. Like, Facts. ooh! I'm choking him, bro. He was like, ah! that That chill and trying to get away stopped. He's Mongo now. Like, hmm? You heard? The, right, ele right, right. The, the elevator opened, ping, ping. I let him go, boom, people came in. I was like, oh, he all right. <laughs> Yo, it was... I probably made that nigga sleep upstairs on the Yo. third floor. Yo, know? son, it was, I almost bodied him that day, son. He's crazy. He came that's super, why, that, he came super made, close to death. on the third floor when he slept over one time. Yo, bro, he, I put that dude super close to death, bro. That's, I think that's the closest he ever been to death and shook. He was shook another time. He called me because the bloods were going to kill him because he owed these blood kids money for some work. And I went to the hood and I spoke to him because I knew them. They from the block where I be at. And I was like, yo, regardless, that's still my mother's brother. Like, if you kill him or you hit him by mistake and kill him, my mother's going to cry. You get it? It's one of those situations. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, over. ma, like, ma, like, your, your brother is a super dirtbag. He probably deserves to die, but I feel bad for you because you're going to cry because you're my mother. You get it? So I don't know. It's kind of weird. Right, right. But I don't know. Well, we, we locked him in the attic one time when he stood over. He was not playing that. Yeah, you know, and he changes his life, but I think the alcohol gets the best of him and it gets the best of a lot of people. Yeah, definitely, definitely, because that day when And I'm going to keep it real. Day, he's gay. You know that, right? Respectfully, I don't know what other word to course, use. He's LGBT. Course, yeah, 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 there's nothing wrong with anybody being that as long as you don't approach me with that. Nah, anymore. once you come to me with, with that, that I'm trying to body you in public. Right. You feel me, right. like, and not and not in that way for for anybody who's listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because dudes call body like they something. get it twisted, like, oh shoot, yo. <laughs> no, like body, they think like you're with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you trying to bang them out. Yeah, like like these people. Like, no, no, bro. <laughs> what happens with these? What happened with these new derelicts in life is that they took the words that we use that meant something else, and they changed. They trying to change it to something else. You get it. Right, 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 because they start using it to talk like that because they changed up. Nah, right, but no, but they don't know. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they look at it like that. That's what you're doing. <laughs> But but you can't yeah, right. you you can't let these people just change words that we've been using our whole life, bro, to mean something else, bro. You get it? That means right, that right, you right. thought it meant that the whole time, and you just had it wrong, bro. Just admit you're a penko and you was trying to pick up street things, and you had the words that we use wrong. Like I said the other day, yo, we was yapping people on the island, and this dude tried to explain to me that it's not yap, that it's something else, homie. I don't know what you used to say. But what we were saying was yap, not yak, not yak, not hap, whatever. I yapped them, bro. Facts. <laughs> I know exactly what I said. Shit now. Even outside of prison, people be like, yo, son, got his chain yap. Yeah, but this dude tried to tell me that it's not yapped, that it's something. I said, bro, I used to yeah, literally so yap is, everybody. Something else. <laughs> I think he commented some. It's in the comment section. So many comments, I would have to be there. 
looking yeah, for. He it. probably said something dumb that didn't even. Yeah, like bro. I was like, well, yo, bro, you even uh, have you ever even been where I've been at to talk like that, bro? Like, you're gonna tell a dude that was actually yapping people, bro? Like, I told the yap story, homie. Like, what are you? It's not yap. It's. Bro, you're a derelict, bro. I don't even it's, answer. It's Look, not, it's, and it's home, gap. It's gap. It's not gap. <laughs> I think he did say gap, as a matter of fact. <laughs> nah, he didn't say gap. But check this out, right? <laughs> and I normally try to answer back every comment if I can. But lately, some of these people make me stop when they say the dumbest of things. But I really don't get no bad comments because people know I blocked them. Like, if you say foul things, and if I see you banging in my channel, on if because dudes took a habit of coming here and thinking that they could just talk, like, bad about Dominicans or about anybody else. Like, bro, you're bugging or about blacks. Or I got Dominican family. I got black family. I got Ecuadorians in my family. We come from a mixed up families, bro. So I don't allow that. So I block that. You know what I'm saying? If somebody comes in here thinking that he's a gangbanger or... Or he's super king from somewhere and they beefing with whatever gang they beefing with over there. I don't got nothing to do with that, homie. This is not a gang channel. <laughs> you know, I didn't start this so you could bang in my comment section. Right, right. This is not gangland. Yeah, nigga, bang in your house or on your block, nigga. So I did all that yeah, immediately. Go, oh, go, go watch gangland. Facts. But other than that, when people say good things, I answer them back. When people look good. I, I, I do good Even if I don't get to the comment immediately I'll definitely get to it Especially if it's like you Yo You try to show love a little bit Yeah 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 it's, But I just give yeah. them, And if they was there in person You give them a little kiss I'll kiss them <laughs> I'll kiss them in their neck Like Louis huh? Like Theo Louis <laughs> And I'll choke you in the elevator nigga. Yo if you wanna be in this show You gotta let me kiss you on your neck bro. Yo Before if you, you got If you wanna be on this show You gotta let me tell you I love you live Yo check this out bro <laughs> Yo one of the things that's crazy bro is that uh yeah and on my other channels like on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all those audio podcasts, I'm on all of them. I sometimes in the morning I shout out like my main supporters on my channel. I literally say their name. Like I'll be like, yo, especially the people that donate like hundreds of dollars. I'll be like, shout out to right. J Vape Lounge for sending me fifty dollars when I didn't have paper toilet or whatever, right? No, I'm only kidding, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, it worked. But, yeah, but, yeah, I get you. I get you. You show them some love. Yeah, I do that. And some people don't even know because they don't watch those channels over there. You feel me? Right, right, right. And shit like that. So they won't even know. But that's when it counts the most, when you don't know that I'm doing it. You get it? Right, right. Exactly. Uh, yo, with that being said, son, I don't know where you're going to go, but you got to go somewhere up out of here, yo. I got, <laughs> I got other platforms to go to. <laughs> yeah, I love you, though. Thanks a lot for tuning in, yo. Maybe the people like you a little bit. They'll let you come back. What you think, guys? Should we let my son come back? Or oh, he thinks he sounds like me too much? They're about to be like, yo, the only way he could come back is if, if he lets you give him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky you're my son because I feel weird. <laughs> I would have been, I would have been clicked. Yeah, I hey, love yo, pop. Yeah. Yo, so remember the time that you told the dude I was born on Rikers Island? Right, right, yeah. We was playing a video game. We were streaming, I think. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, where you were born? I was like, I was born in Rikers Island. Yeah, so the thing was that you was almost not born on Rikers Island. We had got locked up, I think. But where you was almost born at, we got locked up in this jail called Orange County. And there, I think that she was, like, fully pregnant with you. Yeah, Orange County. That was, like, upstate, right? Yeah, upstate. I got banned from that town, from Orange Orange County. Yeah. Yeah, Facts. I really know. I know the story. I'm I can't, not gonna speak on it. I, I we. You know, I said the story before. I, I think, know it but, was a crazy story, though. Yeah, I came out in the newspaper, and we got caught with like 150 bundles of high power heroin. The name of it was called high power, and we got caught there, and we got caught in Connecticut with like double the work. Facts. Right. And we, we came, all got caught. I was there. But and <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got caught too using her belly though. <laughs> And and, and 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 we came out in the newspaper both times in those states as uh well known members of the Almighty Latin King and Queen Nation. Boo, boo. We got locked up with other kings and queens in those cases. You get it? Thanks, thanks. So it was, that shit was everywhere, and I'm looking at her like, <clears throat> technically she wasn't even queen. She was near that first. Right. You get it? 
Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. And it was kind of weird because her father, not the father this one, but he's like the one that raised her, raised her, that was like really her father to this dude came back around and was her mother's boyfriend. He was the supreme crown of New York State. He was like the main nigga in charge. So I was like, oh, bro, they're going to kill me, bro. <laughs> Oh, you like it's over when they find out this shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, the point is, yeah, I guess I was locked up for a little bit. I didn't have to get into no fights because I was in the stomach. Yeah, so now when niggas be like, "Yo, when was the first time you went to prison?" You could be like, "Nigga, I was like two months." Even you're the youngest prisoner. <laughs> Today we got on our show the prisoner. youngest prisoner ever to survive Rikers Island in Orange <laughs> County Prison. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it was crazy. I'll tell, tell them like, yo, I was two months, and we all, we got caught with like 150 bundles. Right? Yo, bro, and then months. you know what happened? And then you know what happened? It was my fault. We stopped at a gas station with the bros in the car, right? And we go right. inside a Burger King, nigga, and these fucking two morenos is talking shit, and I pop on them, ping, 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 ping. After I pop, they can't hold it down, son. You get it? Right, right. You talked shit, nigga. We didn't do nothing to you. We didn't say nothing to you. We chilling. The minute I was he just walking in, grabbing something real quick. Yeah, but I I walked by him, but I you know me, I'm on point with everything. So he tried yeah, to we, do. We we can hear everything. Right. So I'm even if I play, I got headphones on. When I'm walking by you, them shits is off, homie. I'm not in the street rocking headphones. You think I'm rocking headphones? Yeah, you think. Yeah. So exactly. so you so, think I'm on the phone? Right. I so walk by, you right. Walk by niggas and they be like, look at. This. Pussy nigga I hear that quick, bro, because I'm walking by, making believe I'm right. even talking to somebody. I'm M.O. Like, yo, I love you too, boo. You heard what you said, son? I wasn't even talking to you, homie. I'm good with it. I'm not even talking to you because you got to eat that. But once you like, what up? Nah. So what happened was I, I we went in the, in, the, in the spot to eat. Boom. And homeboy, it was some stupid. Like, what you looking at? Like, oh, oh he started rapping. He started rapping facts. He started rapping. That's what happened. He started rapping like, niggas is pussy. They know I get it in. Uh, so I just binged them. Bing, ping, ping, ping. You saying that to me, bro. You get it? Right, right. You, you trying to throw in directs with that little rap shit. A lot of them do that. But once I popped on them, again, like always, bro, they call the cops on me, dogs. And we get caught halfway up to the spot where we going to to drop off the work. You get it? Police is waiting for us. Now homeboy's all, right. he, had, he had to go to hospital. I didn't even know he had to go to hospital, bro. Because I rocked him, bang, with a crazy stiff one. He dropped, boom. So the, I had, uh, uh, right next to me, there was like a metal pipe or something. When his man, yeah, something metal. I think it was a pipe. It was a pipe. I think it was a pipe. When his man tried to flex or whatever, it just went king, and he just fell, bro. And he started shaking. These dudes shake a lot when I hit them. I get a lot of shaking. So he started doing the Harlem shake and caught like a little attack. <laughs> Pop. And, yeah, and then it was a rap. They had to take him. And I guess they, 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 they gave a description and all that, and they pulled us over, bro, and it was crazy. We was laying up there. Facts and these niggas are looking at me like nigga is all every time we go out, bro. This nigga does a show. I'm like, bro, son started with us, bro. You get it? <laughs> right, 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 right. Like you bugging. Exactly, because I, I don't play that either. But everybody always look at that person like Like, like I'm a troublemaker. Like, bro, I'm not the problem. I'm the problem because because I catch everything and you niggas just walk around like airheads. Yeah, he said something to me. I, 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 you know, I was Bruce Banner. He turned me into the Incredible Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you bugging. <laughs> we don't do that. Anyway, right, yo, right. son, man, you know, I just want to let you know, man, I love you. I love you, too. I love you, too. Nah, <laughs> bro, I love you. Right. I love you, too. You want to give me a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Your neck, nigga, in the elevator, you heard? Don't choke me, don't choke me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Tio yeah. Louis, yo, Tio Louis, my bad. You heard for telling that story, but I could have got deep. But you know the stories are deep. Nigga. Don't make me talk. Right He's like, why? Then wait till he needs some coupons, or he asks me for some Chinese food out here in the Bronx, nigga. Or when he's fucking right, around, right, 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 right. yeah. Que los otros días, nigga forgot where he came from, yeah. <laughs> Little more yeah, Yo, yo, Louis, we're gonna lock you up in the attic again. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. remembers that day. 
that's crazy, like, bro. That's crazy. He was scared to go use the bathroom on the second floor. That's how shook we had him. <laughs> Yo, son, we got the craziest family, but a lot of families are the same. Yo, you know who's Yo, crazy? I'm not gonna lie, it was weird that day because like we was on military time. Like he was like, "Yo, you're not allowed to come down to the first floor. You're not allowed to go to the kitchen. You need to wait till the morning to grab something." Oh, Everybody's shit. sleeping down here. Word. So you only allowed to be from the attic to the bathroom on the second floor. <laughs> Yo, you know who And boy, I tell you, if Theo Louis would have came down those stairs to the first floor, he would have got his ass whooped. Word. Yo, he you... had like 10 niggas downstairs. <laughs> yo, 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 you know who's crazy, son? You know who's the craziest in that whole family, bro? Who, who? I want to see if I agree with that guy. Who? My mother, nigga. Oh man, yo, if she I'll be honest with you, I love I love her to death, but if if, if she was a dude, oh man, it'd be crazy. It'd be even crazier. Yo, she's crazy, my dude. I never forget. She yeah, yeah. she could be with whatever dude or whatever and she'll be like, I mean I hold a gran puta. Es que tú no entiendes que yo te mato. I'm like, what yo, the fuck, man? man? <laughs> I'll be in the and I come out and I'm like, yo, what's going on, bro? Everybody chill out. Es que te viejo I'm like, yo, bro, that's your husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ni el bicho se le para, te viejo. Yeah, es más, tiene el bicho. Yeah. <laughs> La vieja puta esa. Like, what the fuck, man? You just called your husband's mother yo. a bitch? Like, yo, some crazy shit. Right. And the shit. number one thing is, you better never, ever walk by the TV or talk while she's watching the novella. Oh, she'll bro. smack fire out of you, bro. You crazy? What? Yo, bro, let me what? tell you something. One thing, but you know me, my mother never hit me, bro. She used to tell my father to hit me, but she'll hit everybody yeah, she around never, me. She never, hit, she never hit me. You know, so everybody knows, obviously, that's my real father. He's talking about his mother. His mother's my grandmother, in case you... Anybody's slow, you know? <laughs> My mother's a gang member, nigga. <laughs> She's the leader. <laughs> <laughs> She's her own gang. <laughs> Yo, nigga, she's crazy, son. That yeah, shit. Yeah. She never hit me either to keep it a buck. She never hit me. Yo. You know, she let us get away with murder. Yeah, yo, one time. Right. one Yeah, she did let me get away with murder. But one time, bro, and when the last time I was there, she was trying to beat up the guy she was with, Angel, right? And I was like, Dito, I felt yeah, bad yeah, for him. Yeah, and yeah. she told him, yeah. she told him, Dame ahora, hit me now. My son is here. My son, my son will kill you. My son will kill you. I'm like, ma, you're giving me a body <laughs> early. I just got here, bro. Like, what the fuck is happening? Who am I killing, bro? Like, it was crazy, Right, right, bro. right, right. Because we will, we would, we would. No, I, yeah, I'm definitely you know going to kill saying? him. But, yeah, but she you're knows not hit, that. You're not hitting her in front of us. Yeah, That's but, yeah, but I she, I think that she didn't understand because now I got older and I was like, Ma, you just can't do that to him in front of me. You get it? And she wasn't right, feeling right, that. Right, because, she, she wasn't uh -huh. feeling that. Like, I don't care what happened. I didn't see what he did. I'm seeing what you doing right now. What you doing to treat a man like that is wrong. Don't do that in front of me. And she looked at me like, you traitor motherfucker. I'm your mother. You know what I'm saying? And I was like. Yeah, yeah. Like, you supposed to slap yeah, him right now. Like, yeah. Like, if I, yeah. And I'm like, nah, bro. That shit is wrong, homie. You abusing him, too. You get it? Right. So I, right, I, and y'all grown like she can't just be throwing you in situations where you don't even know what's really going yeah, on. Yeah, I haven't even seen y'all like, in like yeah, don't like, get yeah. locked up for no reason. You yeah, know, I, I haven't even what, seen, bro. I haven't seen y'all in years, and the first thing you're doing is involving me to beat up a dude that's been taking care of you this whole time. Like I'm smarter than that, bro. Like right now, maybe years ago, she could have had me do that, but she bugging you. Right, know? Right. I, I right, still... and I'm gonna keep it a buck over the years, over the years and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, even you know, everybody went through whatever they went through and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was doing what I was doing, you was doing what you was doing. But between everybody, I would say in the midst of all that, like I did, I did stay well connected with my father throughout all those years, more than other people did, more than his own mother. You feel me? Oh, you even mean my, even, you you mean that you still connected to me? Mother. You saying that you still connected to me more than anybody else did in the family, like my brother. Throughout the years of, of people separating and people uh, just being Yeah, 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 yeah. We even always even when I was younger, I was around you. I used to run away. Yeah, you used to run away to my house, nigga. 
when my brother oh, yeah, had you. Yeah, remember when they came banging on the door at like yeah, four the, in the morning? The police I, came. I woke up like I was ready to run, nigga. I was like, yo, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> police. But this is what happened. Yeah, the thing yeah, is, yeah. let me tell you what happened. I'm pretty sure you know what happened, but I went up north to doing a four and a half to 12. And I told my brother, my, when I was on the island, my brother lied and he put me in a situation because I had just spent it like 30 something thousand in the street, but I needed 23 more thousand for my bail. So my brother was like, you want me to take care of your kids or you want me to bail you out? My nigga, you sound stupid. You get it? So my yeah, whole, kind of fucking, yeah, yeah. Exactly. so my thinking was like, if I say just bail me out, I sound kind of greedy and crazy and selfish, and he probably could use that against me for whatever. I'm talking to people that can't have kids at those times. So that's why I was real livery with that, but it wound up happening what I thought would happen. When I came home, he felt like they were his kids. I came home, he started spreading around that I was still selling crack and dope and that I was still a gang member and all that, and that's how we wind up in court and all that. Yeah, so remember, I was away for a pretty long time. I came home, I did a four and a half, uh, uh, two and a half to five, and then I went back and did a four and a half to nine because I was three years parole. Came home, got yeah, locked up you again. Did, uh, you, you, uh, you had another one when I was older, too. Remember that's when we were right. back Kev's? Right. And you had just came home. Right. You was looking like Superman, no cap. Oh, I was brolic, <laughs> nigga, right? Yeah, you was brolic. He was yo. He was built like like the chickens they be giving the steroids these days. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, and the kid that I yapped his chain was upstairs in Kevin's house. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to act tough, bro. I'm gonna be honest, he's a pussy. Bro. My nigga, I okay, yapped I your chain care. years he's ago. You never did years. nothing. Now you trying to talk? You trying to talk thirty years later? That's the type of nigga that'll come up forty years later, and a pussy like that will kill you. You heard? Cause he's still mad. Right, right, right. Because he's still mad about it. He feels like you abused him more than anything. He does feel like I abused him because he was like a young kid trying to be down on the block and I took his big... Uh, but he was, yo, he was mad twisted that day too. They was having a, po- they had a poker night. That was on a Friday night. I already know because they used to... Bro, but what gets night. me mad is that Aloe, rest and in peace. Twisted. What gets me mad is that Aloe, rest in peace, he always put me in situations like that. He knew he was there. He tried to tell me he didn't know, nigga. And he didn't say nothing. But, right, how you gonna bring me to somewhere where I yap the nigga and the nigga's in there, bro. It don't well, matter. What I think is that it, it don't what matter. I but what happened was Aloe that. was becoming his friend. You know that, right? They were buddies on the low. I didn't know that. But Aloe, right, you- they were buddies on the low. But I think Aloe already knew that if something would not saying that it was the right thing, right move he made. But I think in the back of his head, he was like, "I'm cool with this nigga, but I want to be cool with that nigga." But I know when it comes down to it, like I better pop for O because if not, it's gonna get crazy. I would have twisted Aloe, even though he's my boy, but he's dead now. But rest in peace to Aloe. But one thing about it, then right, Aloe right, was right. even like, "Yo, you're a troublemaker, nigga." I didn't say nothing. Son literally came in the room and asked me, "That's the same oh, girl." He was telling you that? What? He was telling you that you're a troublemaker. Yeah, outside. He told my girl, yo, Obi, this nigga don't change. This nigga got worse. <laughs> no niggas. I got well, I got older. And in I, the room acting crazy. How you supposed to This act? is what I'm saying, that people think that because you get older and you're of age now that you're supposed to just let people smack you around. So to an average nigga that knows me now, I'm worse because, nigga, I was getting high a few times in my life. So I was more focused on dipping and dabbing, taking care of my business. Violate me now and, and say something. See if I let you get away with that little bit that I probably let you get away with. <laughs> You're going to regret that. You heard? So, right, right. What was you supposed to do? I was there that day. I was in the barber chair. So, what, right. So, what crazy. happened was he, he didn't even. Staring at you bro. Like he had a whole problem. <laughs> that's why I, I, I noticed that after a while. I said, oh, this is this kid. I didn't even recognize him at first. And then I was like, what up, bro? You know, and I started talking to Kev. But I didn't notice that he was staring at me like he had a problem. I didn't notice none of that. I didn't think yeah, he was. He was, just, he was standing there, staring in the doorway. Staring directly at me? A little, and he was just staring at you like like the nigga wanted to do something. But he was twisted out of his mind. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. Yeah, he was drunk. He's a drinker. He's an alcoholic. Yeah. Dude. But anyway, I, check this out, bro. What happened was when he asked me. Yo, that's the same girl that you was that you always been with. I was like, yeah, and that's when I noticed who he was again. When I, when I really noticed, like, oh, this is that kid, cause I robbed a lot of niggas right. and forget their face. 
I'm not gonna lie, you popped off though. Like it was about to get real crazy. In there. I made it hot, right? <laughs> like, right? Like real. Yeah, you made it super hot. Like real quick. And thank God. <clears throat> thank God I was younger. Right. If that was now. It would have. It would have been on fire in there. Yeah, but they knew like, oh shit, this nigga ain't playing. You heard? No, yeah, facts. They was like, oh my God, go outside, go take that outside, go outside. Mm-hmm. Damn, somebody was about to die. Mm-hmm. I was like, what <laughs> up, nigga? Fucking, and another reason, another reason is, mm-hmm. is what a lot of people get twisted is because I was there. That's the whole reason why it was about to get 10, 100 times crazy. Uh, but yo. Because he chose to do it and you was there and, I, and, and your son was there. So yeah. he was like, nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, you bugging out, bro. So the the whole right, right. the 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 whole thing was I think when he asked me when he asked me that's the same girl and I think that's when I said yeah why what up bro right yeah yeah you were like why what up bro you were like what's up yeah, what's yeah. up and he he was like you want to go outside and he was like oh no. he said something he was drunk I don't know what he said yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. when he's sober I couldn't understand yeah because my whole thing is Kev is in here with his kids so let me pound you out in the street you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but then when he didn't want to step outside, he was like, nigga, we could do it right here. Yeah, that yeah. Was, like, it left from the barber room. It went into, the, it spilled out into the living room. Yeah, yeah. Then it spilled out into the hallway on the staircase. Yeah, and yeah. I was outside and homie didn't want to do nothing because nobody was there to save him. Yeah, yeah, Fact, yeah. Because yeah. they all stood upstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. They let him go down by himself. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And Alan wasn't getting in between that. Rest in peace. But I, he was yeah. not getting in between that. Bro. Yeah, he yeah. He was like, yo. They outside. Man. I I never even seen I never even seen him come outside. The kid. Nah, he never even came. He didn't. I was inside. He didn't remember come down. I met you after that. Remember, I seen you later on, like right after that situation. We saw each other. I walked with you to you know where. Right. So you could hop on the train. Right, 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 right. With your wife. Right, but he didn't even. Right? He so didn't. I was upstairs. He didn't go outside. So, yeah. Um. Uh, Kev's wife was like, oh, I'm going to call the cops. And I was like, nah, yo, chill. Don't call the cops. Like, they outside. And Allo was on some shit like, yo, they outside now. So whatever Obi does, like, that's on them. But he already knew. Everybody knew what was going to happen. But you know what? Homie shouldn't have came in the room acting all crazy like that. Oh, Allo said whatever Obi does? Yeah, he stood upstairs. He already knew what time it was. Everybody knew what time it was like, when that whole shit went down. I was like, yo, yeah, don't call the cops. I was like, just leave it alone. He's going to handle it. He's going to break out right after. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what right. I <laughs> Yo, yeah, but at least. I, I, and I, go about his day. At least, at least they knew, like, Aloe and them, like, yo, Obi going to do what he going to do, and it's over, you heard? Let him go down if he wants to, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's not like he ain't gonna chill on your block for an hour. I think he's gonna knock yeah, him nah. Off. I, I, I always he ain't got a problem with y'all. You got a problem with that dude? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna fuck around with them. They family. I'm gonna break them up real quick, and I'm out. I'm always out before Paul Paul come. I don't. I'm not gonna stay stomping your head to the concrete. I'm just gonna let you lay right, there. Right, and realistically, I look at it like they should have had a major problem with that dude. Cause I don't know if Kev ever chilled with him again, but he should have really. He should have been tight with that nigga and put him in his place. Facts. He's really his friend because I would have been like, yo, my man, like, you know, I got real dudes that be coming here like Obi and you can't be doing that because they will bother you in my house, bro. Wow. You don't need that here. Facts. Like, he took you your me? chain like, you and to that's it, bro. He took time to act crazy. He took your chain and that's it, nigga. Handle it. He's a sucker. Yeah, you're not getting it back. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, that's it. That was 30 years ago, my dude. <laughs> You know, right, right, right. Exactly. He still, st- but- I mean, I get it. I would still pop. I would pop on somebody that took my shit thirty years ago, but I wouldn't pop, nigga. I would yap this chain. But, years but later. listen, but listen, bro. But li- listen to the story. After that, I rolled up on Shorty on the block in my whip. Boom, he came up to the car, but I had the blicky on this on the where you breast stuff at. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I right. So yeah, he, cause they be chilling out there. They be chilling out there. Yeah, so that's my block, nigga. You a little nigga on my block. You not original 44th Street boy. You used to walk down the block with your head down, going home while we was outside, nigga. You smoking yeah, crack? He's not even about that. Like, he's not even so, about that. No, but this is the problem, bro. He's gas. You know, his little brother's like a big willy, though, son. Let's keep it a stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there was a couple, you know. Like, like his big brother. Few, his, couple. Listen, his brother, his little, his brother. It's actually his little brother is a major connect in our hood, nigga. Everybody knows this. Even fucking the feds, nigga. Right? So 
Like, uh, what? I don't know if you want to throw names, but what's his name again? Nah, I don't want to throw names. <laughs> Right, but, so but, fucking, yeah, but 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 it, it don't matter. He was there that day. The little kid that was there that looked like a bird, nigga. That looked like El Chapo. Right. He's somebody, right, nigga. Right, right. Believe me, he became somebody, nigga. I know this because I'm in tune with the streets. He became somebody, nigga. So he's even. They even chill with niggas that I chill with on five eight. You get it? Right. right so right. so it don't matter if they pussy. They they feeding a bunch of real niggas, right now. Right, right now. So anyway, so uh, 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 what happened is I always do my homework. So when he came up to the window of the car, boom, and he came up to the window, I said, yo, why you coming over here? You want to buy a gun or something? You you know anybody who want to buy this? That nigga did a about face immediately. Yo. <laughs> I was playing with him. <laughs> I said, yo, by the way, yo, check this out. You know anybody who want to buy this? That nigga said, Pew! yo, nah, I don't got no problem. I just came to say, what's up? How you doing? I said, I'm fine. You know anybody who want to buy this? <laughs> That nigga broke the fuck out, nigga. Yeah, what That's. You mean? I want to see how you doing. And bro. then you, after that, you popped on me a lot. Well, you try to. Nah, pop he didn't. He like never popped on me, nigga. Nah, not pop. I said try to pop. Nah, he. But he that's. Thought he was popping. He wasn't popping shit. But that's not trying to pop. Or oh, he didn't even. Uh, he didn't even say too much. I'm the one that was like, "Yo, what up, bro? Like you're bugging." Yeah, he did it. He was just kind of standing there. Yeah. Like trying to like. He thought that his look, like his stare, like he was putting fear in something. <laughs> nah, I didn't even take even it like that, bro. Him. Honestly, I took it like when I woke up and noticed, like, hold up, son. You trying to play me? You asking too many questions. Like, what up, bro? Oh, now I remember this nigga. And that's when I took it there. Like, nigga, come on. You get it? And I think Right, right. Because what happened was, I think when he walked in, right? So what I'm saying is that when he walked in, because Kev was cutting and you was talking to Kev a little and then you was... uh. You was talking to Wifey on the side. So you was looking down, and he walked in, and he was just standing there. You was, like, looking down, talking. And then when you looked up, you seen him. That's when you seen him. And that's when you had that little short conversation, and you realized, oh, that's this nigga. But, but I already peeped that he came in. But I didn't know about the situation, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, you're not supposed to. So but I, I didn't know he was if there. If I would have knew, I would have been like, yo, pa, yo, this dude is walking in here right now. You know, you I would have been on point, but I didn't know shit. Yeah, but you know what? You could tell, like, Kev and dumb niggas, they not real street niggas. They, they been in the street, but when shit really happens, they disappear respectfully. You get it? Because there's... Right, they want to chill with everybody that's doing shit, but they not... Really right, good, because when the shit hits the fan, they get police involved. Because my thing is this. Honestly, if Kev was a real street nigga, he was never supposed to let that kid, even me and me come in contact with that kid again because somebody's going to get hurt because Shorty is a pepper. He's either going to call the cops on me or he's the type of kid that he's hurt, bro. He wants revenge for what happened to him because, bro, you're soft, my nigga. Everybody knows you're not built like that, nigga. You get it? Right, right, right. So what happens is, that dudes like Kevin them behind our back, they'll be gassing him. Like, yo, that nigga just took your shit, my nigga. You get it? Yeah, yeah. Like, you let him do that to you? Yeah, but I would have did it to them. They just never had shines around me. And they know that. You right. get it? Right. Anybody that was wearing shines, I was yapping, nigga. Them niggas live on my block and I yapped them. Where they from, bro? You my son. Where they live at? You want me to say exactly where they live at? Everybody knows my block, 44th Street. Where they, they live at? My block, 44th Street, between, 4th, between 3rd and 4th. Facts, they from my block, nigga. <laughs> you get it? I yapped you on my block, right. nigga. The niggas that live up the block, uh, 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 their guns, Chris and them, I took their guns. They live on my block, nigga. I took your guns. Nigga, I don't give a fuck when niggas be like, oh, you shit with you eat, nigga. You pussy, you ain't doing nothing. I'm going upstairs and going to sleep. Bye, what happened? You get it? Right, right. But I could be a nice dude. But homie, I look at that like that was years ago. But if you want to make me kill you, shorty, just step to me and do something crazy or say something. You get it? But other than that, I was trying to be humble. You get it? But I'm with my son. I'm with my girl. Nigga, that, the day that I saw him after I took his shines, you know how long ago was that? It was already like 10 years, bro, probably. You heard? Right. Like, homie, you're bugging. I almost forgot what he looked like. 
You right, feel right, me? Right. But you people got the whole situation. Nah, I didn't forget. Ago, I didn't forget the whole situation. No, I'm talking about thirty years later. Yeah, yeah. So, so my thinking is this: but people like him don't know no better because they not real street niggas. Like being that we had that last encounter like that. Nah, I got a feeling like it's up now, nigga. So I could see you coming from work in the train. I could see you in Forty Second Street in Manhattan. I could see you anywhere, nigga. In Soho, looking for a local, you could be out there, nigga. And I'm gonna smack Thundercats out of you, bro. You get it? Right, right. Because now our last thing was you thinking you was tough or something, nigga. Even though he really didn't say much, but even his little brother, I seen him like grab a bottle or something, you heard? Or, or they oh, or, yeah, off the table, right? Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he grabbed like a bottle, like if he was gonna hit me, like throw the bottle or something. And I was like, what you gonna do with that bottle, boy? You bugging? Like, you get it? So but I can't get mad because that's his brother. You heard? Right, right. So it is what it is, but it's all good, bro. You know, at the same token, it's part of life. I took his shit, you heard? But it is what it is. You're supposed to wear that. If you're not really going to be about that life, wear it. Because on top of me taking your shines, I have the ability. Uh, uh, uh. Still, I don't want to, but on top of me st- taking your shine, what could happen is that you run up trying to get revenge and try to do something to me, and I'm going to protect myself by any means, and, 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 and I'm still like the Incredible Hulk. I'm going to murder thanks, you. Thanks. I'm going to yeah, murder yeah, you, bro. I am going to murder you to the, protect myself. Believe that. 